Hello everyone, my name is Siddesh and welcome to LearnDAX channel. In this video, we are going to learn the all, all except and the all selected functions. So we are taking a very simple example of a cricket data, which has my favorite players. We have Virat Kohli and uh, Jaspreet Bumrah. It also has Kane Williamson. Unfortunately, Kane Williamson hasn't scored any runs. He hasn't participated in any matches. So yeah, let's get started with understanding all, all except and all selected with this data. So the first thing that I would uh, bring up in this video is why was the need to have these functions? So I'll take an example and try to build upon it that how we need all, why we will need all except and why we will need all selected. Okay, so let's start. In the first case, I will pull out the player name and I will pull out the corresponding number of runs that he has he he has scored so i have that in the second column now what if i want to know out of the total number of runs what percentage of runs were scored by jaspreet bumrah what percentage of percentage of runs were scored by virat kohli what percentage of runs were scored by steve smith how do i do that so i can use something called as a sum right i can use sum the runs scored and that should give me the total of the runs scored. So let's start with that. I will create a measure. I will call it total runs all. Just simplify, just, just keeping it short, the name. And I will write calculate sum of runs scored. So this should be enough, right? Calculate sum of runs scored. And when I pull this measure onto this table, it should give me, oh, it's not giving me 712. So why is that happening? Well, that's happening because when I am selecting the player name, like when I'm pulling the player name on the table, the row is in itself applying a filter context. And that filter context uh, will give us the value corresponding to only that player. Now, if you want to negate this inherent filter context that exists, we are going to use something called as the all function. So what all does is, okay, remove any filters that exist and give me the sum of everything, aggregate everything. So I will modify the same measure and I will include all and then we are going to see how the result is going to change. So I add here one more argument, which is all. And then I put in the players table. And now we are going to see the difference. So initially we saw that the, yeah, the runs code column as well as the total runs were the same values, but now we can see that they are different. So from now we can calculate the number of runs scored by each player uh, uh, as per the, uh, like, uh, the number of runs scored versus the percentage of the runs or sorry, like what I mean is the portion of the runs scored by each player in percentage form. So the total number of runs scored by each player is 712 in totality and the runs scored by Jasri Bumra is 15. So what percentage is that? I can calculate that value. So let's do that. So I'll create PCT runs scored is equal to divide. So now divide is a function in Power BI in which you supply a numerator a denominator and an alternate result. So should there be a case where you're dividing by zero, you can just give some uh, something as an exception or like, okay, if it's divided by zero, you, just, you can just provide some random value. I'll just do that. I'll, I'll show you what, what I mean by that. So the numerator is run scored. We have to use an aggregation sum of run scored. And total runs all. So now alternate result is should there be a case where the total runs all is zero then we can give something like anything. Okay, I will write, 
just give me a zero if the denominator is zero. So I will change that to a percentage and then I will pull it here onto this table. So from this table, we can observe that Steve Smith scored 28% of the runs and Virat Kohli scored 29% of the runs. So that is part one. Now let's move on to why we would need the all selected function. So for that, I will have to first create a slicer. So slicer is essentially a, a control in Power BI by means of which you can filter values. And once you apply that filter, uh, all the visuals get affected by the slicer. Now there are options in which you can control the slicer and it, it and its effects on visuals, like which visuals should be filtered and which should be not, which should not be. But by default, when you create a slicer, it is going to affect all the visuals. More on that maybe in some other video. So I will pull out the player name here. So let us say I want to see the data for Steve Smith, Virat Kohli and Joe Root. So one thing that we notice here is the percentage of runs scored is now adding up to 97.89%. But that is not the stat that I want to see. I want to see how this piece of pie is being split in this three in these three pairs and how that number amounts to a total of 100%. In order to achieve that, we are going to use something called as all selected function. So how do we do that? So first of all, what I'm going to do is I will create a new measure. I will call it uh, We'll call it total runs all selected is equal to calculate i will have sum of runs scored and then all selected Clear, clear name. So what this essentially means is when I select any players, so give me only those values, show me only those values. And we will see the difference in this table once I execute this measure. So now when I pull this value here, now the difference is the total number of runs scored was earlier 712. So even, even though we had selected only Joe Root, Steve Smith and Virat Kohli, we were still getting 712 as the total number of runs scored, which we don't want because we want that. Now these three players in totality have scored 697. So now that has been achieved. Okay. So that is part one. The second part was the percentage of runs scored by this trio was 97.89, but it is not adding up to 100%, right? I want, if I have a whole pie, then what percentage of that is being split among these three? If the total number of runs were 697, then what percentage of 697 was scored by these three players? So that is where the all selected function works. And now just like how we use a divide function to find a percentage, we will use the divide function again while having the denominator as the all selected value. So let me show that how it's done. So it will just be simply, I'll create a new measure, call it PCT runs score all SCL to denote all selected divide sum of runs score and total runs all selected. So I'll bring this value onto the table and then you can see that those numbers will add up to 100%.
yeah we have the difference now we can see 40.73 is now become 41.61 28.09 has become 28.69 and 29.07 has turned to 29.70 because now it's calculating basis 697 and not basis 712 so now we are done with all and all selected now the last is all except why will we need the what, what was the need for an all except function so let's understand it this way i have four countries in this table let me first clear this selection so i have essentially four countries australia india new zealand and england and they have different players and they the players have different roles batsman and bowler so i will pull out the teams and corresponding to that the runs scored so by default like i said there is a filter context in every row so when there is australia the runs scored will only correspond to the players who are in the australian team when the the row for england will only have the runs scored for the players representing the england team and so on and so forth now all except implies that apart from any other context that might exist only consider this particular context and negate every other context so what do i mean by that i will first create a measure and then i will explain uh, as to what exactly this translates into numbers and not just theory like okay I'm saying that uh, except for the context in which I'm trying to uh, fetch the values, only consider that context and remove any other context. That may not make so much sense, but once you see the numbers, that will definitely throw some light on what exactly this means. So I will create a measure. I will call it total runs all except is equal to calculate sum of runs scored now here i am going to use all except all except the first argument is the table so i am writing here players i am saying except for the team except for the players team do not consider any other context which means when i select a team only then you have to respect this context if i pull any other value other than team do not filter this measure should not get filtered by any other column but the team column so what do i mean by that okay i have to use all exp all exe so it could be like okay these two are doing the same thing so what was the need to bring out a new measure and then creating a, a and asking it to explicitly only consider the player's team as the context and not to consider either context if we are just getting the same output well now you'll see the difference so in case if i pull out the player id and correspondingly if i pull out the same run scored column see what we get we get the run scored as per the player id which is which which is how it should work now what if i pull out the total runs all except that is the thing what should be the answer should it pull out the same as 200 292 22 or what should it give me well here the difference is going to uh, going to be visible and you'll see what it is showing the value as 712 
so what essentially all except is saying is if you are going to pull the team on the table and then try to bring me onto that table then i will respect that context but if you bring out player id or player name okay we have tried with player id let's try with player name and you get to see the difference i will pull out player name and again i'll pull up those same values which is the runs scored and total players total runs all selected see you can see the difference when i say when i'm selecting the team then it obeys that particular context when i select the player id no it doesn't it shows the value as 712 when i select the player name does it obey the context of the player no it doesn't it will only obey the context when you have pulled the players team why because in our measure we have stated that except for the players team column ignore any other context so that is all except and that is what i wanted to explain in this video i hope you found some value from this video and if you did please share it with your friends and like i always say at the end of the video happy learning and thanks for watching